Shalom Aleichem. I wrote this uh, short text and I wanted to share with you. I will translate from Hebrew. Kol hanechalim movilim el hayam. All the rivers leads to the sea. And also in spirituality, gam beruchaniyut. Yeshnam nechalim hamovilim el hayam. Also in spirituality, there are rivers who leads us towards the sea, to the sea of wisdom. El yam hachokma. Lechol echad miitano. Every one of us has an inner stream, an inner river. Lechol echad miitano. Yesh nachal pnimi. Haani shelcha hu ha nachal shelcha. Your inner true self is your river, and it's coming from the source of wisdom. Vehu novea mimkor hachokma. Miyam hachokma, from the sea of wisdom. It's in your power. Yesh be'efsharutcha, lishot le'amin or lishmol. To swim to the right or to the left. And then you'll get to that place that you're swimming to. Ve'az tagia el ha'makom, elav ata soche. Im lishmol, im le'amin. To the left or to the right. And we must be those people of the stream. We need to be the people of the river. Liyot anshe ha'nachal. עלינו להיות אנשי הנחל, המכירים את פיתוליו, that knows his ways, ומבינים את אורחותיו, and understands his paths, his nature. ולהפליג אל הניסיון הבא, and to swim, to, to sail towards the next test, to the next challenge, to the ancient connection, to those intersections where streams are meeting each other and getting stronger, more powerful, and finally to the Sea of Souls. Ze hanahar shelcha, that is your river, and it leads you to the sea. Vuhumovil elayam, yam aneshamot, the Sea of Souls, ha'ens of the infinity, infinity itself. And when I'm thinking about the spirituality of this wonderful journey and this uh, text that can be inspiring. I want to bring it one floor lower means closer to us, to our awareness, because that explanation reflects to all aspects of creation. Those channels, those streams, those rivers, you can find them all around you. That is the tree of life. That's the way the world runs. For an example, the real water in our lives, like you fill your cup from the faucet or from a bottle. Rivers of water were moved underground in real rivers, in tunnels, in pipes to your faucet for you to fill your cup. Now there is a maker, there is a supervisor on all creation. If your actions are wonderful and great, so you're drinking from the water of the temple, from the water that comes out of Yerushalayim, means that the creator in reality not only in spirituality, and also as well in spirituality, just that that is a higher reflection, but works in the same time. But in reality, you will find yourself drinking from the water of the temple, means that the same particles of water that were used in the days of the temple, in the first temple, second temple, in the Mishkan, by Moshe, by Aharon, by the Levites, by people of Israel that came to the temple and washed their hands, drank. That kind of water that are always running inside creation because all the water are keep on floating in the world. They become clouds and the rain comes down again and they go back to the ocean. And the Creator, He's the one who moves the particles of water and He's the one who can define between one to the other. He knows how to track back the water that was used in the temple or that ran in the rivers that came out of the Garden of Eden to that place or to that place, pure water or impure water, water that had a certain role in certain situations and now they find themselves back into your shower, into your mikveh, into your coffee cup. And you don't understand the spiritual cargo that they're carrying, but they're like holy chariots that are bringing treasures of sparks that elevates your mind, that purifies your heart, that uh, 
washes away all the filth and all the contamination. And that happens in physicality. And if you do good things, you should know that you're drinking from the water of the temple. And if God forbid a person is filthing his actions, so impure water, bitter water are filling his being and connect, contaminating him and filthing his mind with foreign thoughts, with bad thoughts, with the sad and negative thoughts. And also there are different aspects of rivers and streams. And I want you to expand your mind and to see the creation of Hashem. I want you to understand how Hashem runs the world. It's all based on the Torah. It's all based on the stories of the Torah. Look at all the sides, all the angles of your lives, and you're just going to find Hashem over there. That aspect can be Rachel, can be Rivka, can be Yaakov, can be Leah, can be Sarah, can be Abraham, can be Tzchak, can be that tribe or the other, can be that war against that nation or that victory or their, oh, that loss, that mistake or that tshuva, that atonement, that forgiveness, that request, that begging, that failure, that crash, that punishment, that decree. So in any situation in life, try to understand what are the hints, what that, that situation reflects, where can I find it in the Bible, where can I find it in the stories of the tzaddikim, of the righteous ones. And then you will learn the lesson because you're going to know, oh man, I was just behaving like Pharaoh or I'm so happy. I was able to stand up like Moshe. And you'll find yourself in that situation for you to correct or to be happy with your success and to thank Hashem. That is a greater connect, correction even. So in any situation, just understand that it's all one. And it reflects in you, in your spirituality and in your physicality. The rivers are running in your veins, inside your arms, inside your body. And they're all like vehicles that are holding not only oxygen, not only vitamins and and. and and fibers that are building the physical structures of yours. Every cell that is physical is holding a mountain of spirit on its back and carrying it from one spot to the other. If you see that the blood cell carries oxygen, it's a reflection. It's for you to know, it's teaching you now that there is a spiritual cargo that is being taken. If that blood cell is physical in a certain way, and carries a lighter cargo on it of oxygen, for an example, you should learn from that, that that oxygen is also carrying on it a lighter and more spiritual and more delicate cargo of spirit, of holy sparks of creation, and feed your body with them, and heals your body with them. And when you pick a fruit, and when you choose a thing to do, if you cha cha choose a color of your shirt, if you choose some some way to decorate your house you bring that thing to your house you you buy that chair you buy that sofa you replace that table whatever you do in life there are sparks over there what is a table table is a place table is a place you put things on it it makes your life better you can learn with it you can you can you can host people you can invite guests to your table there are many things to do with a table many a potential intentions or or essence or reflections table represents for me. And then you will learn the ways of Hashem. Then you'll find Hashem. You should look into the wisdom of every situation, of any situation, and to try to understand, not in a spiritual way what table means, what the table means for you. That is the highest level that you can reach through that table, through that river. And you are the river because there are also streams of people that are walking in the streets and then getting into their houses. Those are the pools. And over there, they're walking to the right and to the left. And then they again go out with the stream to the streets of New York, of Washington, of Yerushalayim, of Saudi Arabia. You have rivers in all the cities and underground and on top of the earth between the mountains. We need to understand that the Creator is supervising on our lives in perfection. And there is no end to the greatness of our Maker. And you should believe 
that when you take a shower, you are being showered with pure water that are removing the filth away from you. And when you drink a cup of water, you should believe that now Hashem put in that cup the exact amount of water that is synchronized in perfection to heal all your weaknesses, all your illnesses, all your diseases, to kick away all kinds of contamination from you and to purify you and to clean you and to elevate your mind to a higher level in spirit as well. You should believe in those amazing things that if you are with Hashem, Hashem is with you. And that Hashem is with you even when you don't know that you should be with Hashem and you don't remember. He reminds you. He will remind us all in perfection. Believe in yourselves and you will see wonders. Amen.